first of fight and then deadly gunfire. The start of the new year in Cincinnati sees the end of a teenager's life not far from the University of Cincinnati. And thanks for joining us here on New Year's Day at 5 o'clock. I'm Mike Dardis. And I'm Ashley Kirkland. A distraught woman dialed 911 this morning to say she found her son behind an apartment off of Straight Street in University Heights. WLWT News 5 Todd Dykes is live with who police say shot and killed this young man, Todd. No, well, Ashley and Mike, police say the name of the victim in Cincinnati's first homicide of 2024 is Edwin Arrington. The 17-year-old's mother found her son in a wooded area behind a house in an apartment complex just about a half mile west of UC's Clifton campus. Man, I wish we could turn back the hands of time, but we can't. Yeah. A new year and already a new tragedy. Overnight, a stretch of Street Street in University Heights was a magnet for chaos and deadly violence. One of the callers stated there were subjects physically fighting, uh, stated they were carrying guns. We have now received uh, multiple calls stating shots are being fired. That emergency dispatch happened a little after two this morning. Investigating officers took two suspects, both believed to be juveniles, into custody, but could not find a shooting victim. That sad discovery was made several hours later by a frantic woman. 660 Straight Street, we got a mother on scene, just found her son shot at the location. Late this afternoon, police identified the victim as 17-year-old Edwin Arrington. That's horrible. Several neighbors who lived nearby mistakenly thought the sound of gunfire was the sound of celebratory fireworks. We heard some pop-offs. Then all of a sudden, my wife is like, there's cop cars, there's flashes and lights. Lately, it's been, been young people, man, and that's so disheartening for our young people to die. As a community outreach advocate with the Urban League, Duran Hunter goes to crime scenes like the one on Straight Street to support people who lose loved ones to gun violence. It's a tough time. They don't deserve that. I don't care what the situation is. I don't think it's that bad that you have to, you know, shoot and kill somebody, man, at a young age like that. Now, aside from releasing the name of the shooting victim, Cincinnati police uh, being fairly tight lipped about this case. No word yet on what possibly motivated uh, this overnight uh, gunfire. No indication of the names of those two suspects or if more arrests are possible. Reporting live tonight here in University Heights, Todd Dykes, WWT News 5.